in front of my microphone again. Glad to see you guys here, to have you here join me at Leadership 365 Podcast. And I just want to say good morning. The future of artificial intelligence, it is the topic that we're going to discuss today. Lots of interesting uh, and just, you know, a lot of this uh, discussion that is really no longer a buzzword I think it's just uh, trending beyond trending that is and I want to just um, you know pop in here today this morning and have this as a discussion in my podcast uh, all right so I am going to turn down the music so you all can hear me today all right the future of artificial intelligence opportunities and challenges I want to dive in here uh, really truly want to cover a little bit of my three cents and perhaps uh, you all are in thinking the same way I, I am uh, it does have opportunities it does have challenges more so perhaps uh, that we're gonna go explore this a little bit and um, today in the podcast in leadership 365 I'm going to uh, Turn down the music so you all can hear me here clear. Okay, so, and I can hear myself too. <laughs> uh, there's a quote that I just uh, made up here right before the uh, this segment here, podcast. Uh, it is a quote that perhaps um, I kind of like it and I'm going to, you know, obviously I'm going to share it with you guys. And uh, this is uh, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is really in all of our minds I think right now uh, you know opportunities and challenges yes uh, there are more challenges perhaps than opportunities I don't know I mean you can you can argue in that back and forth but I think it's here it is the future and we are you know uh, facing it right now and then we have to adapt perhaps right <laughs> of course we gotta have to adapt we have to adapt and we gotta have to take the ball and run with it. And I don't know if you saw my uh, my podcast cover. And that's basically the way I, I feel, the way I think about AI. All right, so there's a quote that I want to share with you guys. Artificial intelligence is a catalyst. It is a catalyst that will redefine the boundaries of human potential and also innovation. I think that hits home with me. I don't know, you, you guys have to let me know what you think about all of these quotes that I share with you on all of my podcasts, that is. All right, here's a summary of what we're talking about this morning. The future of artificial intelligence, uh, these opportunities and these also challenges. Uh, you know, we're going to explore into this transformative, I just love that word, right? Fascinating, exciting, and concerning at the same time world of AI, artificial intelligence. And we discover how AI is really truly revolutionizing. Revolutionizing. Yeah, I have my tongue tied here. Multilinguist. <laughs> Healthcare, business, transportation, promising future un of unprecedented innovation and also efficiency. I am going to write a follow-up article in the format of article about this podcast because I think I'm going to sit down and then really focus on what I just mentioned, healthcare, business, how, you know, transportation, how AI is in there already, you know, revolutionizing uh, this, this, this industry. Uh, it is fascinating to watch, you know, uh, for example, my son is already in it, you know, he's in the, um, <laughs> pretty much in the uh, automation of everything um, and is robotic. Uh, you know, he's an engineer, one of, really, I, I'm just fascinating watching him, how he can just create this innovation and is a very highly demanding career Um as I'm watching this, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm so old school. Um, so I'm just fascinated and I, I want to share with you guys about what I think in this podcast. All right. So we're going to tackle the ethical dilemmas. Obviously, this is going to be in my article, by the way, because it's more in elaborate, elaborated details, privacy concerns and job market disruptions posed by this AI. I, um, okay. This is a freeze frame right now. Okay. Hold on a minute. There you go. 
um, emphasizing the need for obviously systems that's going to be fair and biased, right? And um, we're talking about, I, I hate to say this, these are robots, you know, who create the robots? We do, you know, it's man-made. All of this are man-made machinery learning, you know, machine learning, um, all of this automation. We program these robots, you know, without us, they're just nothing but tools, nothing but machine. I mean, not machine, not even machine operating machine. I, the computer is operating machine. We call it OS, right? I, it, how is it made up, made from, made by us humans? So I think the fairness and the unbiased system has to be there. And there is a dilemma, the ever-growing um, concerns, obviously, right? So let's explore the ethical and social implication of AI. And, um, you know, we can, we can, you know, question who's accountable when I, AI makes mistakes, right? Because it's as human errors. Like I said, these are all made by humans. And then we are at the, uh, I don't want to say we're the beginning because we've been doing this at the, the gate, you know, already. Uh, but I think it's more so now it's publicly known because we are utilizing and using, we're, we're the end user, the end users, the consumers are using this every day now. Right from from our work, we need that. Uh, believe it or not, in a in a internet world, uh, it it has been we have been it has been applied and we have been using it. You know, the email, for exam example, electronic mail. You know how how when was that created? Decades ago. So not knowingly, all of us have been utilizing it in the back end, right? And then now it's in the front end. I mean, you know, we this is more uh, clear. So I want to just talk about uh, the ethical and social implication of AI, uh, questioning who who is accountable for, you know, or whenever AI makes mistakes. Learn about the crucial role of collaboration among the governments, industry leaders, and researchers, scientists in setting ethical standards and regulations. I think that's a big whole conversation there that I'm going to invite experts, obviously, to talk and discuss with me uh, regarding this. Um, I, I think as we're going along uh, with our application, um, you know, and then also our, our usage of this AI, uh, I think we're learning some of the ins and outs and some of the, uh, isn't that how we learn in, in humanity as well? So, you know, uh, we're sharing profound insights and original quotes that I have highlighted, and I'm going to, to share with you guys more. The balance between innovation and ethics and the necessity for informed AI development. So I think overall, the future of AI is in our hands by navigating its development rather responsibly we can leverage as power to create a better more just world you know i'm not an economic expert i'm not an ai expert i don't want to be claimed as one i'm learning i'm an old school i'm a lifelong learner and i can i want to claim that <laughs> lifelong lear learner i'm a consumer close observer of all of these trends Although my late father was a PhD in economics, though. Yeah, so I learned it from him. That was way back. Uh, email wasn't even thought about. And then he started talking to me about it back in the 70s, uh, early 80s. And I said, oh, what are you talking about, Dad? Now we're in the 2024. And then, you know, email is nothing. I mean, digital, I'm now learning about digital wallet. <laughs> It's like, wow, okay. Or uh, what do you call this? Um, Apple Pay. You know, you just um, tap on your, when you pay, you know, at the cashier, at the front front cashier. And you just have to tap your debit card. And I'm I'm like, I'm fascinated by that. I'm sorry. You guys are listening to this. It's like, what did you get, Nikki? Really? Yes, really. <laughs> Guess where I learned that from? From my son. It's like, mom, just tap it. I mean, this, this kid, oh my gosh, I'm learning it from him. So this episode is a must listen for anyone interested in the cutting edge of technology and its impact on society. I'm going to make it really general, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm not an expert in, in AI or anything like that. I'm a consumer. I'm an end user. And I'm pretty much just fascinated and rather concerning uh, to watch all of this just um, rolling out, right? But Yes, I'd, I'd, I'd love to see you subscribe to this podcast, subscribe to newsletter that we have, Leadership 365, and join the conversation of the future of AI. All right, let's get into it. 
Um, by the way, I love, I love the, uh, what do you call that? The podcast cover here. So anyhow, we are continuing our conversation here. Okay. Let's have a little bit of music now. All right, guys, welcome back to Leadership 365 with Nikki Dare. I am your host. Uh, so glad you all can join me again. The goal of this podcast uh, over on Leadership 365, and I thought about this, and I, you know, really, truly to empower you, to all my loyal listeners, uh, wherever you are listening from around the world, <laughs> some of you are smiling like, oh, yeah, it's about time you you continue talking about AI, Nikki. Um, you know, I'm not an expert, but I'd love to just discuss this with you guys and open up the discussion, perhaps in my other platform uh, on LinkedIn, and you guys connect me with, you know, with me there. Um, you know, I, I really would like to empower you about the topics that we provide here uh, throughout the podcast, Leadership 365. You know, equip you with the tools and insights needed to navigate leadership challenges uh, with agility and foresight in this ever-changing world. As we already know, change is constant here. So Podcast Leadership 365, it is a podcast for you design to inspire growth and also impact for sustainability so you can create your best year of 365 days ever. So good to be here in the presence of you and many around the world. Uh, today, we are talking about this AI stuff. Oh, fascinating. All right, guys. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Leadership 365. I am your host, the one and only Nikki Dare. And today, we are going to talk about one of the most exciting, you know, exciting uh, transformative technology of our time, AI. You know, when it was like, what is AI? It's an acronym. It's like everybody's just buzzing, buzzing word, AI, AI. <laughs> and at first it was IQ. <laughs> I mean, that's all I knew back in the 80s, you know, 70s. IQ was the biggest thing for us. And then TQM, you know, total quality management. TQC, total quality control. Uh, and all of a sudden we came up with all of these fancy, fancy words and fancy um, just acronyms, you know. All right. So AI. Artificial intelligence truly changing the way we live, the way we work, and interact with the world around us. I mean, before pandemic, it wasn't so. But during pandemic, you know, people were just, the whole world was online, basically. And I think a little bit shortly after pandemic, after the humhas, you know, the social issues and stuff like that around the world, here in the U.S., you know, people really grab and grasp, I mean, that's the right word, this, this acronym of AI, artificial intelligence, with all of the currencies and money, monetary things, you know, out there, um, crypto, what's the other one? Uh, you know what I'm talking about, I'm not so into it. But this digital wallet and things like that. So AI was part of the mix, but here's what I think. With great power comes great responsibility. You know, we want to explore both the incredible opportunities that AI offers and the significant challenges it presents. All right. So let's go ahead and start with the opportunities. Okay. I think that's more in upside. You know, challenges is always there. It comes with the opportunities. It comes with the you know, opportunities, comes with, with challenges. So AI is revolutionizing industries across the board, no doubt. In healthcare, AI algorithms can analyze medical images. And I, I, I say this because I see it myself, right? Um, that was like four or five years ago before pandemic. And I'm like, oh, wow, really? Uh, my, my mother-in-law was operated by a robot. And I'm like, oh, where's the doctor? There, in the room, the other room, you know, um, in the remote control basically monitoring 
So anyway, it's just fascinating um, with incredible accuracy. And this is something that's different, obviously, right? This is analyzing medical images. I mean, this is operating, diagnosing disease earlier than more accurately. I mean, all of these are already within a play in the medical industry, in the healthcare industry. Imagine a world where AI can predict health issues before they even become critical. I mean, that's where we want, saving countless lives. And I think I'm all for that. I know I'm all for that. So in the business world, AI is streamlining operations, improving customer service, and driving innovation. I think this is a baseline for business world landscape. AI is a must. But just hold your thought. I know there's a lot of challenges in that, what I just said, right? AI streamlining operations, improving customer service, driving innovations. I mean, you know, we talk about, and I wrote a book about Kaizen. Ed Kaizen was all about continuous improvement and, you know, how to streamline operations and things like that, you know, from small to a bigger um, uh, impact and things like that. Now, AI came in play and AI said, okay, we can streamline operations, improving customer service, and we can use, you know, virtual assistants are becoming smarter now these days and chatbots. Yeah, not, not, not to forget about chatbots here. <laughs> Uh, these are all providing personal experiences and freeing up human employees for more complex tasks. Scary to think if you really think deeper and said, um, is that, does that mean that AI can take a, this robots automation stuff can take away our jobs? Yes or no? Okay. So let's not forget the potential of AI driving autonomous vehicles. I want to say, yeah, I cannot say that word, pronounce it properly, which could drastically reduce traffic accidents and transform our transportation systems. Now, when I saw my son, you know, uh, created this, you know, auto vehicles, basically, uh, you know, controlled remotely, um, I, I was just fascinated. I'm just like, wow, you, you did all that? I mean, you know, in the warehouse systems, in the um, uh, the warehouse automa automation system, you know, um, it, it was just, it's just endless when you think about this. You know, you, you set the baseline and you start thinking innovation and adding up more and more and then become more advanced. I, I think it's just fascinating. I, I, I just want to go from there. All right. So... Back again on the driving out of vehicles, which can drastically reduce traffic accidents and it, it would, you know, transform our transportation systems. I think, I think when you really think about that, yeah, it does have a lot of great positive opportunities there, Nikki. Yeah, if you really think about that, right? I'm going to pause here for a moment and I'm going to try to get this music on. So I had a <laughs> little breather there for a while for three seconds because there's my note and said three seconds or four seconds breather. All right, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I just want to make sure that we got that three seconds or four second music, please. All right, guys, uh, where were we? We were at the traffic and things like that. I want to share with you guys this very quote that I just created um, before I I came in here. The true potential of AI lies not just in its ability to innovate, but also in our commitment to wield, to wield it with wisdom, fairness, and accountability. I'm going to put it out there because um, putting it out there and sharing with you guys is one thing, but I actually taking action and really look at into this and hold it with integrity. Um, when we're taking action, obviously, right? Wield it with wisdom, fairness, and accountability. That's huge. All right. So, music, please, for three seconds. Uh, 
All right. Next segment that I want to talk about challenges. All right, that's the juice right here. The challenges. I think there are more. I mean, you guys are listening to this, and thank you very much. By the way, you're listening to Leadership Three Six Five with Nikki Dare. I'm your host here with Leadership Three Six Five podcast. Uh, if you are listening uh, from your car, stay safe, guys. Uh, stay safe driving. I know a lot of a lot of you. I mean, I, I do too. Listening in a podcast, especially in a traffic jam here in LA. Uh, if you are listening from the other side of the world, it is already nighttime evening. Thank you so much for listening, taking the time here. Enjoy your evening. Uh, if you are just in the morning, uh, getting ready for your for your day, thank you so much for taking the time and you know just hang out with me here for the next. Uh, I want to say another half an hour, perhaps. And uh, we are into the segment, second segment here of the podcast today: challenges of AI. However, this advancement come with significant challenges. All of these great opportunities that we just mentioned earlier, right? One of the biggest concern, you you guessed it right, is the ethical implication. Is the ethical implications of AI? How do we ensure that AI systems are fair? And AI systems are also unbiased. Right? Think about that. I mean, we talk a lot about it because everybody is really affected by this. Right? I'm talking about the world. I'm talking just military, government, uh, private sectors, business landscape, personal, everything, entrepreneurship, solopreneurship, multi locations. Um, the way we do things in life, our work, our career, the application of it, uh, I mean, it's just endless. How do we ensure that AI systems are fair and unbiased? There have been numerous instances where AI algorithms have exhibited bias, leading to unfair treatment to you know for certain groups of people. It is crucial that we address these biases to build a more successful, sustainable, profitable future together. Another major concern is privacy. We all know that. I mean, even some of the biggest, I'm not going to mention, some of the biggest names of data collecting that we use every day for search engine and things like that, you know, it, 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 this is privacy is not a major concern. I mean, even look at our, our iPhone right now, our phone in our hand. I mean, are they really private, as they say? Have you all read? And do we take the time to read the fine print? No, we don't. You know, what about the digital wallet system? You know, um, we're talking two different things right now. The AI certainly has the algorithm. That's what I'm talking about, the AI algorithm. Not necessarily the, the, the whole system in general, but, you know, we signed up for this. We subscribe to all of these things that makes our lifestyle, our, our daily life, um, living uh, lifestyle, call it, um, you know, necessary. Is it necessary? I mean, we, we have to ask that ourselves, right? Yes, privacy is not a major concern. I mean, we might subscribe to one thing in our app or things like that. I mean, are they selling it to the third you know, third party that we don't know of because we don't read the fine print. I don't know. I mean, this is something that you all have to do diligence individually, um, you know, monitoring this on your own too, you know. But if you own a business, if you're a big corporation, you're a CEO of a 500 to 1,000 maybe multi-location uh, businesses, you got to have to be held accountable for all of these things. You know, the privacy, the uh, the accountability for for just being fair. You know, and bias about this. So AI systems require vast amount of data to function effectively. And this raises questions about how our personal information is collected, how our personal information is stored, how our personal information is being used. Striking the right balance between innovation and privacy is very critical. It's very essential. I'm going to say that one more time. Striking the right balance between innovation and privacy is essential. So, moreover, the rise of AI, artificial intelligence, tran transforming the job market, indeed. While AI creates new opportunities, it also poses a threat to certain jobs, particularly 
those that involve routine tasks, the 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 admin stuff, right? The routine. Um, you can name the, all of these things. So how do we prepare our workforce for the shift and to ensure that people have the skills needed for the jobs of the future? Routine tasks, okay, you ask. Um, it's, it's admin, right? I mean, AI now can even write business plan. Now AI can even, you know, provide you the how-to, um, or even write email or write, um, what is it, scripts? <laughs> okay, of course, teleprompter and all of that stuff. Sometimes it's malfunction. <laughs> don't depend, don't trust all of these things. Okay, jokes aside. So AI does create, um, you know, create new opportunities, but also it, 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 it provides threat to certain jobs, right? Certain jobs. I'm not, I'm talking about all jobs, particularly those that involve routine tasks. So, the question is this, how do we prepare our workforce for the shift and ensuring that people have the skills needed for the job so the future, this is, what I just said, changes the whole game of education, right? People are not probably not thinking about getting all of this um, skill set, right? All of the talents. They're, they're all not going to technology. They're all not going to see what's ahead of us in the next five years. Will this matter in five years? Will this matter in 10 years? You know, if I were to, to invest my, 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 my life right now, my time and my money, my energy, studying and learning this skill, and then at the end of the day, when I get out of school, and then it doesn't, you know, it won't be needed in society. There won't be any good paying job. Oh my gosh, with the economy right now, I'm not going to talk about that. That, that. That's a totally, totally different podcast there. The inflation stuff, right? That's ridiculous. $75, $76 for five sandwiches, guys, from my last road trip. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, gosh. And everything else just, just, oh my gosh, I don't know what state you're, you live in, but all right, let's, let's get back to this, guys. (laughs) That's another podcast. Original quote here that I had just created again. Um, want to say balancing innovation. And ethics in AI development is not just a challenge, but a necessity for a just future. Kaboom. (laughs) How do you like that? (laughs) I love that. All right, Nikki. I, I do like that. here again. Let's talk about the next segment here on the podcast today, the ethical and social impact of AI. There's so much to talk about, guys. Um, I'm going, like I said earlier, I'm going to uh, put together basically uh, an article that's going to, you know, that I'm going to write more elaborately. Is there a word? Elaborately. (laughs) More elaborate on on this uh, topic of discussion. Uh, very fascinating, by the way. So the next segment here that we're going to touch on is the ethical and social impact of AI. The ethical and social impact of AI cannot be overstated. I think we all agree on that on that thinking, right? We must consider the long term consequences, the long term consequences of AI deployment. Um, with that right mindset, that you know, you as a leader, you as a CEO, you as the uh, engineer, you are, you know, you as the the creator of of this innovation, you got to have to have that right mindset, the ethical mindset. Um, Consider the long-term consequences. For instance, in autonomous weapon system, let's talk about that. The idea of machines making life and death decision is really deeply troubling, wouldn't you say? Right. I mean, there's a whole lot of conversation that I want to dissect into that. Uh, I'm all for safety, 
you know, I'm an instructor, a uh, certified instructor for a while on the firearms industry. And then, you know, this is something that concerning, obviously, when you really think about this. So as a society, we need to establish clear regulations and guidelines to gov- govern the u- the use the usage of this AI in such critical areas. I mean, I see this in the news, right? On the topic of regulations. Yeah, regulations, laws and things like that. Rules and, you know, what have you. Yeah, I it, laws. Regulations, guidelines. All of these are great. They're all man-made too, by the way. Just like how men-made robotic and stuff, right? These robots don't talk. Not unless we program them. Same kind of thing. This, this guidelines, regulations. Oh, paper. In writing and written in paper. Who makes this? Humans, right? It's, it's no good if you don't enforce this stuff. To safeguard humanity, for example, right? I mean, great. Yeah, we have, you know, save the world, save this, save the people, save the community. But if you don't use this to do so, like what you just wrote for the regulations, the, uh, the guidelines, yeah, also plastic waste in Indonesia, right? Um, th- th- this is just nothing but a bunch of words, a bunch of papers, I mean, uh, words written in paper. Or, in, I hate this, in PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> I'm not into that, by the way. I think they all look good. It's good. It's one thing that you can have a great, attractive presentation in PowerPoint. This is what we're going to do. This is how the regulation is. And then you put it in a PDF, and then you put it like in a very expensive paper um, and show it off to everybody and then download it and show it out to the stakeholders, show it out to all of us and everything. But it doesn't get enforced. It doesn't mean anything. Understand that? Yeah, I hope so. Okay. So additionally, I want to talk about the question of accountability. Accountability. When an AI system makes a mistake, who's going to be responsible? The developer, the company, or the robot itself? I mean, who? Developer, the creator, developer that was being, you know, um, ordered and demanded by the boss, by the CEO, let's say, or by whoever, a group of people. The company itself, the company, you know, who's going to be responsible for it? If it makes, makes mistakes, these are complex issues. Again, this is human versus AI, guys. I mean, at the end of this um, podcast, I think there is a slide that I purposely, intently uh, chose to have at the end of the podcast. And you'll see it. You have to see it. You have to see the video, by the way. It's, it's us against AI, right? But then who started it? Humans. Okay, so these are complex issues that require thoughtful consideration and robust frameworks. We can talk about this all day, but if it doesn't get enforced, it doesn't get enforced. All right, so that's that. (laughs) And um, the next segment. Okay, how about music again, please? I think my audio today is not comp- uh, <laughs> not uh, not really talking to me. I don't know why, but it's okay. It's, it's a little bit sound like a little bit low today, but it's all right, guys. Uh, I hope that you are finding it finding this podcast so far valuable. And if you want to leave me a message or leave me a feedback, your thoughts, your just your insights about this discussion about this topic please do so i mean i'd love to hear back from you obviously your you know any of your feedback is a gift truly a gift for me and that's how i'll learn about this podcast as well so let's move on to the next segment it's like where do we go from here the path forward that is collaboration collaboration is key governments and um, industry leaders researchers scientists need to Put themselves together, work together to create ethical standards and ethical regulations that guide the development and all of this deployment of AI 
investing in education. I know we have a lot of work to do to update and upgrade our education system here in this country. Investing in education, reskilling programs will be very critical to prepare the workforce for the changes ahead. Is the changing ahead? Is the changing presently? The changes ahead, like I said, in five years. How is that going to look like? In 10 years, how is this going to all look like? All of you are listening and then you are still in school. You know, or you're already in college learning about this machine learning, uh, about this technology, AI advancement, things like that. Think about it in the future, you know, ahead in 10 years. How is it going to look like? How is it going to be applied? How is it going to affect our everyday life? You know, our, the way we work, the way we live, the way we breathe, the way everything. You know, how is it going to improve our life, sustainable life here on this planet? So, As individual, we also have a role to play. Staying informed about AI and its implication allow us to make educated decisions and advocate for responsible AI practices. And with that, I like to also make, I mean, share a quote, which I just made. <laughs> I was just thinking out loud here. All right. Music, please, for one, once. <laughs> I think um, I just received like a, a little quick note from somebody who's watching this, uh, the video. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, um, yeah, when I was putting uh, this together, the, uh, the video background, things like that, the images, um, yeah, all of these things that I want to align with what I'm discussing hopefully it makes sense yeah you're welcome guys and thank you for watching by the way okay so here's a quote informed and ethical AI development will be the cornerstone of a future where technology and humanity thrive together we must adapt but we must also thrive we can't just stay there to adapt we gotta have to thrive take the ball and run with it and that's look at the podcast cover right we gotta have to run with it so the original quote inform and ethical AI development will be the cornerstone of a future where technology and humanity thrive together all right you know where it's going right now right it won't be a podcast complete podcast podcast without my <laughs> my final thought Artificial, hang on, let me just go ahead and then uh, share this quick one, two seconds. Artificial intelligence, AI, holds immense promise. But we must navigate its development carefully to maximize benefits and minimize harm. So by addressing the challenges head on, we can... Harness the power of AI to create a better and more sustainable future for all. I know a lot of you probably want to say, hey, equitable future, profitable future. I want to say sustainable future because that's what we're aiming for. All right. Yes, you want to listen to music, please. <music> I don't know what it is, but the audio is a little bit low today. That's okay. I just want to make sure that you all had enjoyed and find this podcast today uh, rather valuable. And I, I think for me, I'm learning it as well as I'm presenting this in a podcast format. And then I, I have a lot of more resources in a writing format that I want to um, share with you all. And I know that the last one ooh was a couple of weeks ago so okay <laughs> I am due now for monthly article okay guys my final thoughts I know you've been waiting for so thank you so much again you are listening here in Leadership 365 podcast with Nikki Dare I really appreciate each one of you listening in your car on a way to work um, or already came home from work thank you so much on the other side of the world and uh, hopefully that you have found this rather valuable 
So my final thoughts, as we continue to integrate AI into our lives, let's remember that the future of AI is really, truly in our hands. Oh, excuse me. We have the power to shape it responsibly and ethically and ensuring that it serves humanity's best interest, nothing but us, humanity us for us. So the decisions that we make today will definitely define the legacy of AI for generations to come. Wouldn't you say? All right. I think that's it for right now. As I promised, it will be so quick today. Uh, there are more to say that I'd love to say in more elaborated um, version in my article. But for right now on the podcast, that's all I have. Thank you for joining me on this episode, Leadership 365. Once again, guys, thank you. If you enjoyed this, discuss- this discussion and this very topic of AI, very fascinating, please subscribe uh, YouTube or the uh, Leadership 365. Rate and review our podcast Wherever you're listening it from, I know that a lot of you um, had mentioned about iHeart Podcasts or Spotify or even, what is it again, uh, Podbean or something like that or Google. I don't know. I don't know where you guys are listening it from, but thank you so much. By the way, I see it in the back office. Thank you so much on the iHeart especially. Stay tuned for more insightful conversations. Again, as I mentioned, uh, look for the articles on this topic. I will going to share it with you uh, within a day or a couple of days. But until next time, I am Nikki Dare, your host, and this is Leadership 365 Podcast. Thank you so much for listening. But don't go away because I have some more takeaway questions and call to actions. For right now, music, please. Those takeaways and the, some of the call to actions. Uh, I know you guys love that, right? That's part of my gems and takeaways here. I will never leave you guys uh, without the takeaways here for my, my, my podcast. <laughs> All right. So I put together some questions here, bold questions and call to action takeaways. What steps can we take to ensure AI systems are fair and unbiased? That, I think that, that stood out for me personally. Uh, as a question, a call to action before you create or you design any AI platform, AI system, AI, you know, innovation, whatever that you're trying to do for your career, for your um, uh, just anything. Uh, I know you love to create stuff, right? <laughs> so reflect on how you can advocate for ethical AI practices in, in your workplace, in your community as well. Always go back to the community. What steps can we take to ensure that AI systems are fair and unbiased? Okay. I, yes, I will. I will also include these questions in my article so you guys can go back and then read this again. And the second one is second question and a call to action. How can we balance the benefits of AI with the need for privacy? Think about that for a second. Okay. Consider what privacy measures you expect from companies using AI and how you can protect your personal data. I mean, right now, it's just going crazy out there, I think. The next question would be, what skills do you think will be essential in a future dominated by AI? I I want to choose that word, dominated. Identify opportunities for upskilling. Identify opportunities for reskilling. Upskilling or reskilling to prepare for the evolving job market. How should society regulate AI to prevent misuse and ensure accountability? That's huge, right? That's also like reflect the number one question. 
join discussions on AI regulations and policies to influence the direction of AI development. There's so many platforms out there, uh, you know, experts, uh, roundtables and things like that, um, or even articles or even interactive forums, online forums that you might want to engage um, and join in discussions with all of the experts on the AI regulations, AI policies, and maybe perhaps in your in your workplace as well. There's also opportunity, or there's also a um, um, you know forum to discuss this. The next and last question that I was uh, I'm going to ask you guys is, what role can you play in promoting responsible AI development? What role can you play in promoting responsible AI development? You know, get involved in initiatives or organizations that focus on ethical AI and always stay informed about advancements and challenges um, in the field. You know, manufacturing, uh, retail, um, medical, healthcare, um, transportation, right? Uh, warehouse, supply chain, all of these things. You, you, you got to have to... Um, you know, think about this and, you know, what is your role? You know, pause and then think about it. What role can you play in promoting this responsible AI deployment, development and deployment? Get involved. So here's my last call to action. That engage with us, share your thoughts on these questions and join the conversation on social media using the hashtag, I want to say future of AI or leadership 365. Again, use the hashtag leadership 365. That would be great. Or future of AI. Subscribe to our leadership 365 uh, for more insightful discussions and don't forget to rate, rate and review our podcast. This podcast or past podcast broadcast <laughs> uh, because together we can shape a responsible and innovative future of AI. I really like to see you doing this for us. And I really appreciate you so very much for being here. And um, I, the last, the last but not least, I know that I want to end this with just very Alibian. <laughs> Merci de voir écouter mon podcast aujourd'hui. Gracias por escuchar mi podcast hoy. Good to see you guys and hope this was definitely enjoyable for you all. Sampai jumpa uh, kalian semua. Terima kasih telah mendengarkan podcast saya uh, hari ini. Dan terima kasih untuk mendengarkan selalu di podcast saya ini. Haske se sea un gran dia, uh, always. Obviously, and jadikan hari ini yang menyenangkan. Make it a great day, you guys. Stay in condition yellow. Situational awareness. Watch your six, nine, and twelve and three. Don't forget those other other sides of <laughs> wherever you go. I always wear that condition yellow. Follow and connect with me on LinkedIn and also in YouTube. And don't forget to check out some of our published books on Amazon. Um, recently, we just published at the beginning of this year. Hope that can bring some values for you and your team. And thank you for the reviews, by the way. And do me a big favor. Please don't send me. Well, you can send me those reviews or your feedbacks um, after you read my books through email. But then post it on Amazon. That will be great. All right, guys. That's it for me. God bless. Thanks so much for listening. This is Nikki Dare. Until next time. Thank you.